Okay, so Jeff, there's more controversy over Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's performance at the Grammys. People are very upset at the explicit song and dance. A lot of the performance was too graphic for daytime television, but here is a short portion that we're allowed to show you. Okay, the performance did include a warning, though, beforehand, that it may not be appropriate for small children, but other portions included the two women doing an intricate dance while intertwined all on top of a giant bed. Some folks are complaining that this performance was allowed to be broadcast nationally, but Mr. Potato Head was canceled. Others on Twitter commented, quote, this performance was trashy for a show that is supposed to be family friendly. Another person wrote, I am mortified for all who just witnessed what has happened to our society unacceptable. But some defended the performance saying, quote, don't want your kids seeing that. Be a parent. Don't let your kids see that. So DBL Nation, of course, we want to hear from you. In your opinion, was the performance too graphic? And should performances like this be canceled? Write us in on Facebook and YouTube, Jeff. Well, glad you went to me first. I, I hate to be the old fuddy-duddy on the show. But to, to me, it's not. Listen, what, what am I supposed to say? Now you are a fuddy-duddy. I, fuddy I have People to say fuddy-duddy because if I, if I say anything else, I, I might be canceled. So I really have to walk on eggshells over here when I'm on air. I don't think it's classy. To me, it's not classy. I think CBS should be held to a higher standard. ABC just released Chris Harrison for an opinion he had on something. Some people agree with it. Some people don't agree with it. It was an opinion. ABC had to let him go. CBS has fired people in this era, whether it be Me Too, Black Lives Matter, whatever it may be, have been fired. We put this on the air. Mr. Potato was a terrible example. Dr. Seuss is a better example because that's a visual. It wasn't anything written that was racist in Dr. Seuss. It was the pictures in Dr. Seuss. That was visual. They got canceled. The White House said you are no longer part of National Book Day. This is a visual that people see. I don't understand why we judge one thing and cancel it and the other thing. I'm not offended by it, okay? If I had daughters, I might be. I do want to say that. I have two sons. I wasn't offended by it, but I understand how people could be. I'll just say this, Jeff, really quickly. The Dr. Seuss people pulled that book themselves. That was not canceled by the public. You can't compare sex no, no, and, and racism. Yeah. But the White House took it off a of National but Book Day. Those were not the popular ones but, anyway. So I just don't, like, I want to hear from I don't think yeah. that, Erica, chime in. I don't think, listen, Jeff, I know you're not offended. Um, but I don't think that we can compare sex or sex positivity, even though I would not let my children watch it. So I'm with you, Jeff. However, I'm not going to compare sex positivity to racism. I understand why other people have been canceled. I don't think these women should be canceled because adults can watch this. This is sex positive. I, I really think that we're conflating a lot of things. Um, first of all, Meg Thee Stallion nor Cardi B called for the cancellation of Mr. Potato Head, so we can stop that conversation right now. Um, I think that some things that could be conflated are the way that Janet Jackson was treated um, versus the way that we saw Madonna or Britney or Christina um, when they go down as one of the most iconic um, displays in history. So I think that this actually is like the pendulum swinging back like Janet slipped so Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion could WAP. Um, they're taking ownership over their art. They're taking ownership over their bodies. And I think that it's very jarring for people to see two black women or women of color um, really express themselves unapologetically in this way. And if people have a problem with it, just remember that there's a lot of songs out there that your kids are singing. And the moment that you tell them that it's something they can't do, they gravitate towards it. Remember uh, parental advisories during the, the height of gangster rap? That backfired, I mean, Erica, so just keep the, that in mind. The UFC was on this week. It was men fighting in a cage. It was a horrible eye injury. Jeff, did you watch the UFC yes. this weekend? Would you let Lawson watch it? Yeah, listen, I understand what you're saying. But and I'm not, I'm not we, genuinely we live, in, we live in an era of cancel culture. I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not trying to be racist here when Erica says two black women. I'm not like comparing that. two black women. I'm not even comparing sexuality to this. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am a little bit if you're a young woman watching this, as if one of those people is your idol. I, I'm comparing it to we live in this whole society of cancel culture. Everything's being canceled. I understand Dr. Seuss racist. I'm not comparing racism to what Cardi B did. I'm not. You have to understand what I'm saying. You have to be mm. very careful. Wait, what are you saying that Cardi has been canceled? Is, I don't want Cardi to be canceled either. Right. We are canceling things at a rapid rate, right? Whatever they may be, whatever it's for. 
Why is this okay to air and we're defending that? We're not even allowed to say the name of the song on this show. We can't even say the letters that it stands for. Right. If I say one of those words, if someone overheard me in an office setting say what that song was and someone reported me to HR, I would lose my job. This is this is the reality of what we're right. talking but about. But it was on at 10 o'clock at night because it's for adults. Just like when you go to it's Vegas. It's on CBS, Al. It's not HBO. But when you go to Vegas, you can go see a family show or you can go see a topless show. It's for adults and some are for families and you make that decision again but we have to balance out society a little bit here I, I totally get what you're saying and I'm not right. even against Cardi B I like Cardi B uh, but people I know we gotta we gotta go there's a great conversation no, really good conversation um, okay so coming up on the show a daytime exclusive